Hi, everybody. Hey, um, this is the way my grass looked last August, August 10th, I think, to be exact. This is the way it looks now. Ah! This is the way it looked then. Oh, this way it looks now. Oh, my goodness. This is the way it looked. Oop. This is the way it looked then. Oh. <laughs> Folks, we need some awe moments in life, don't we? I mean, we think about the way things used to be here in the United States, and we wish we were that way again. We wish we could do all the things we used to do. Go to ball games, go to restaurants, get out, uh, go shopping, take a ride, go up in the mountains, go skiing, whatever it is. And we can't do it right now. And it drives us absolutely crazy. It makes us run out of patience. I have to be patient with my grass. Eventually, hopefully, by God's grace, that grass is going to look the way it did last summer, but I have to wait until then. How difficult is it for us to wait upon the Lord, for him to restore things to the way they used to be here in the United States? If you're anything like me, you start to run out of patience. Yesterday, we heard from the governor that we probably can't worship until June sometime. And you know what? Initially, that made me feel kind of angry <laughs> and I'm lacking patience but you know what the Lord says be patient I'm doing things in the midst of this that you don't understand and you have to be patient eventually my grass started to look pretty good last year and I have to remember that eventually things are going to be restored and until then what does God require of us steadfast faith fixing our eyes on Jesus and being patient let the fruit of the spirit of patience be instilled in you today. God bless you.